road infrastructure development and planning is the, the most important thing. So we are building more roads and bridges, but which is not the best solution to reduce the traffic congestion. How has your country's economy coped with this revenue loss? Well, like any other countries, uh, Mongolian government is uh, dealing with the post-COVID issues and trying to recover the economy as fast as uh, possible. Uh, as you know, all around the world, pandemic is, uh, you know, more than a health crisis. It become information and socioeconomic crisis, including maybe emotional crisis among all the people around the world. Disaster risk reduction is every country's responsibility, as we all know. However, the participation of stakeholders in DR, in particular, civil society, science, and research institutions, and the private sector are critical in building more disaster resilient countries. Excellencies, the world is going through challenging times of difficulties in global energy, food, financial, and logistical supply disruptions, in addition to rising commodity price and inflation. The government of Mongolia is implementing its economic new recovery policy to overcome these challenges. I mean, do you accept, though, that, uh, do you accept, though, that you know, frustrations about the economy and inequality are can be laid at the door of the government and that your government perhaps should do more to, to help improve people's lives. The government always stands for its peop people and with its people. Our Prime Minister addressed the protest four days ago with full pledge to cooperate with the activists and also strongly demanding and open data of ongoing investigation from the relevant authorities.